Welcome to this week's Reflection. Winter has really hit Johannesburg this week, and I hope this story at least elicits some warmth. As a team at Leading with Humanity, we were tasked to talk about Gandhi's seven sins that he talked about. He talked about things like wealth without work, pleasure without conscience, politics without principle, and a number of others. And the one that I was tasked with was to talk about knowledge without character. One of the great characters that I've met in my time as a facilitator worked at the Global Leadership Center, Standard Bank's beautiful, beautiful place. And his name was Humphrey. Humphrey would wait outside the classroom with his trolley of fresh water, mints, and on Fridays, chocolate-covered sweets. And he would be there like an impatient commuter on a train. He wanted to get into that classroom so quickly. He never left that classroom until the last delegate had draped back in after the break. And I asked him once, why did he do this? Why didn't he leave the room with the same efficiency that he had entered it? And he looked around the walls and he pointed to all sorts of infographics and leadership models and messages of wisdom and inspiration that were adorned upon the walls. And he said, it is here where I learn and it is here where I find my inspiration. He would use these precious moments to absorb and retain all this information around him. And I thought that there was a, a person who really had the character behind all the knowledge that he was trying to gain. In Gandhi's eyes, I guess, building knowledge is a noble pursuit. But the character is really all about what we do with that knowledge or what we might not do. We, we all have the knowledge about climate change, and yet we don't always have the character to act. I know that exercise is good for me, but it is my character which is needing of comfort on a cold winter's morning like this morning, which keeps me rapidly warm, wrapped up in my bed. Some of our neighbors, all of us, I guess, know that Every now and then someone's popped around for a quiet drink, but they've had the character not to inform anybody uh, and to just let us be in the interests of long-term relationships. I guess to keep informed during this pandemic is to build your knowledge base. But to throw flyers around of fake news is like a student uh, at a traffic light handing out burger specials. On a Saturday morning. And that's maybe to erode one's character. Humphrey, that trolley pushing gleaner of knowledge, once let slip that he loved poetry. I asked him if, we were, if he would share some with us. He did more than that. He stepped out from behind his trolley. He closed his eyes and he opened up his character. And this is what he wrote. It was called Silent Tear. Just close your eyes and see all the memories you have of me. Just sit and relax and you'll find that I'm sitting there inside your mind. Don't cry for me now because I'm gone, for where I am, I'm in the land of song. There's no pain, there's no fear there, so please dry all away those tears there. Don't stand and weep at my grave, I'm not there. Don't think of me, in the dark and cold, for where I am, I'm no longer old. I'm in this place that's filled with love, known to you all as up above. He concludes with a line that says, Faith often shines brightest when life seems to be dark, by Humphrey. I can tell you that on a Friday afternoon, in a room full of learning leaders, there was not a dry eye in the house and no amount of chocolate-covered sweets or sugar-coated mints could have got a warmer engagement. We were impressed by his knowledge, but we were flawed by his character. And I guess in leadership, knowledge will earn you accolades, but character will find you followers. 
I wonder if what we're choosing to share or not to share at this time is helping to build our character. It certainly requires far more work to build and maintain the cathedral of character than it does to stock the warehouse of knowledge. And so good luck on that journey as we build both knowledge and character. And I'll see you next week.